Okay. Hey guys, this is Reverend Sky. Wanted to do a little show and tell on my Monstera Deliciosa. I have obviously not cut off the older leaves. I'm not doing it. Look how big this bad boy is. I mean, come on now. That's, I'm not cutting that leaf. I have him staked up with a triangle trellis. We can do a little bit of a pretty picture down here. But this guy, there are six plants in here. You can see each stem. We got one, two, three, four, five back here, and six right here. And all of them are going, going, going. They're all seeming to be super happy, which makes me happy because I love these big leaves. So no, it's been in here for probably a year. I got him as like two leaf cuttings and this is what he's turned into. There are fenestrations on some of these leaves, but not a bunch because Monstera Delicioso, it is the fifth leaf, it's after the fifth leaf, that you will start to get your fenestrations. So if that's what you're looking for, you might want to cut off the old ones. Eventually it's going to do this on its own so it won't need me to cut anything off, which is why I am keeping all of the older growth. I just think it is a much prettier, much happier baby. Just like it is. Ooh, the sun came back out. Oh, and the ice cream truck for the win. Yeah, it's spring. All right. As far as soil, I used your regular, irregular, regular soil mix. I didn't do the cactus or anything because I added in my own bark and perlite. So everything in here is pretty much as organic as you can get it. I use fish emulsion when I do any kind of feeding on this bad mamma jamma. Oh man, I didn't realize how big it had gotten. This is exciting. It was only little cuttings and now it's all like doing its thing and vining. Oh, this makes me happy. All right, well, I just wanted to share my baby. I don't think I'd ever shared this one. So here we go, Monstera Deliciosa. <laughs> 